Okay, um, question five, find the errors. Worth practicing more of these from other past papers because these kind of appear on most exams and there's only a certain number of sort of things that you can be asked to, to find from a short algorithm like this and the more you practice, the more you get used to doing them. Anyway, let's have a little look at this one. So an algorithm has been written in pseudocode to allow some numbers to be input. So um, we'll be looking for maybe a while loop or repeat until because you don't know how many numbers are being input all the positive numbers that are input are totaled and this total is output at the end an input of zero stops the algorithm so we just need to make sure it does all of those things so uh, we need to be able to input some numbers add up the positive numbers output the total zero stops the algorithm so and um, we've got exit is assigned one and while exit is not equal to zero do so um, it does say zero stops the algorithm. So while it's while the number input isn't zero, we're going to be in this loop. So that's that's okay. So exit is one, meaning it's not zero. And while it's not zero, we're inside the loop. Okay. Input number. Now we've got if number is less than zero, then we're going to add it to the total. Now it says in the question, um, all the positive numbers input are totaled. So there's this. This looks like our first error here, where we should be. Um, so error is line which line is that line four correction uh, if number greater than zero so we've identified where the error is on line four and we've given them the correction okay let's carry on going through here so if the number so that should be if number is greater than zero then total is assigned total plus number so that's okay we're adding the number input to a total okay that's fine we, we we haven't got a value for the total yet but that's not what they're looking for here so they, they, I would expect to have something at the start here total assigned zero but that's not what what they're looking for that that's okay else if number equals zero then x equals one now if x is one then the loop isn't going to stop because it's, it's the loop while exit is not equal to zero so an input of zero stops a program so if number is zero we want the program to stop so if we want the program to stop that should be zero this this here should be zero so that's our next error so let's say line 10 and our correction is exit assign zero okay right let's carry on so we got an end if which ends that if statement we've got an end if which ends this in this statement we've got an end if which ends this while loop okay so that's not the correct structure here that should be end while okay so look look at this look at the structures this is one that I've seen a couple of times before so where are we now we're online 13 correction and while okay so unless we've missed it there's only one line left for there to be an error on so let's have a look output so we what are we outputting we're outputting the total at the end okay so output the total value of your numbers is comma number so number is the last number that they typed in we don't want that we actually want the total which we've been adding up as we've gone along. So um, line 14, I'm going to have to write all of that out. Out, put the total value of your numbers is and then that should be total and it's got a capital T so let's have a look at the mark scheme for for that one well, we've got the mark scheme for the other one I tell you what let's answer the other one and then we'll look at the mark scheme for, for both so describe how you could change the corrected algorithm to record and output how many positive numbers have been included in the final total so we want to count the number of positive numbers so if we're going to do a count 
there's three things that we need to do. First of all, we need to set up a variable that's going to become the count variable, and that needs an initial value of zero. Then we need to add one to the count at the right time, and then it says that we need to output. So that's the third thing we'll do. So um, create a count variable at the start and set it, assign it, give it where we want to put, set it to zero, e.g. count assign zero. Then we need to um, add one to the count at the right time. So we could say, um, so if, so we're, we're, we're here, so it, remember we've got our correction. So if the number is greater than zero, then we're adding one to the total at that point we'd also want to add one to the count so we could say um, after line six add one to the count e.g. count assign count plus one okay and then finally um, after line 14 so I'm trying to use the line numbers to give them an idea of where this would go add an output um, something like output count of positive nums comma count Okay, maybe write numbers. I don't have much room. Okay, let's have a look at the mark scheme for, for that one. So if you can see it, initialize a new counting variable, which we've done here. We've created a counting variable. Um, insert a counting statement between lines five and seven. So I have said after line six, add one to the count. So we've covered that nicely. And then uh, add a new um, output after line 13, output count. So I've said, again, we've said that after line 14 we're doing it after that the output that they've done let's have a look at the mark scheme for for this one uh, line 4 should be if number is um, so we said line 4 so they're happy for you to um, give the line number or write down what the error is so I've done the line number and then I'm given the correction if number is greater than 0 so we'll take that line 10 um, so th there are a couple of ways that you could you could do this the easiest way is what we've done here and it's just if we change exit to zero so if number equals zero exit will become zero and the next time it tests the condition the loop will stop because the number is now zero so that's fine we'll take that uh, then we've got uh, line 13 that was a nice straightforward one to spot that should be end while because it's the wrong end to that structure for the while loop so that's a nice one to look for and then lastly, we've got line 14. We're outputting the number where we should be outputting the total. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, uh, sorry about the sort of uh, messy uh, overwriting all of the answers here, but hopefully that made sense. I'll stop this one and then on to the next question. Thank you very much.